Although it's impossible to predict a major oil spill, the consequences of a disaster are so far reaching and devastating to the entire harbor. The EIS must include a thorough study of what the impacts of such a disaster would be so that the local citizens can be fully informed and understand what risk they're being asked to accept. Benzene, a naturally occurring highly volatile gas in crude oil, has been detected in high levels around other crude oil terminals and port facilities. This gas is carcinogenic and known to cause leukemia in humans. The EIS must include an air quality study, and it is needed for the escaping invented gases. To study the escaping invented gases from the prepared activities related to the oil terminal. Many of our Quinault children attend Hokum High School and our younger children participate in sports at the John Gable Park, which are both located directly north of the proposed terminal. The EIS must include a study of the chemicals released into the air and prevailing winds to determine the threat to our children. The single rail line into this proposed site across the Hokum River on the decades old Swing Bridge near the mouth of the river. The EIS for this project should include an inspection and evaluation of the condition of the pilings or dolphins used to support that bridge. The nearby Simpson Avenue bridge has to be retrofitted, had to been retro retrofitted recently because of the deteriorating support pilings. The proposed site for this project is filled with wetlands. It is likely that the ground in this area will liquefy during a large earthquake. The EIS needs to study how the storage tanks and rail cars would be prevented from spilling their contents in the event of a quake. Any EIS must address the likelihood that cultural artifacts such as fishing wares or other devices may be present at the site as were found at the nearby Anderson Middleton site. How will cultural resources be assessed and protected in that area? I'm almost finished. The EIS must address all the cumulative impacts, environmental, economic, and cultural, by including those created by the other two proposed crude oil terminals in Hukwu. In reality, the three proposed oil terminals are one big project with oil coming in on a single rail line and exiting the harbor through a single channel. No EIS will be complete without a complete assessment of potential impacts to and interference with treaty fisheries within the Chehalis River, Grace Harbor, and the adjacent ocean area. Thank you.